Oh, hey, look, I'm on the couch again, so you know that this video is going to just be me talking and all of that. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for checking out another video. Uh, I'm here on the couch again. I actually have some art up behind me as before in the other videos when I'm sitting on my couch. I didn't have any sort of art up. But the funny thing about this art is it's the photos I took. My print store is back up. I've updated it with all of my new recent photos I've taken, some from when I went on my trip to Arizona, some with some other cameras and things along those lines. But I wanted to make a really quick video to kind of just explain uh, where I've been. I haven't put a new video up in like almost a month. Um, a lot of things have happened. Uh, I went on a trip to Arizona, had a fantastic time. Uh, took my Pentax 6.7 and my Nikon uh, A35L, or, you know, the like little point and shoot Nikon that everybody loves. Uh, took some awesome photos there. But what happened was, is I got burnt out from film. Uh, I shot close to like 30 rolls while I was there in between shooting, developing myself at home, and then scanning at home. I kind of got burned out a little from film, not gonna lie. Plus the rising prices of film across the board, which we've talked about in a video before, I kind of have put film to the side for now. Um, I'm still shooting film, but I'm not shooting medium format anymore. It, it wasn't really needing meeting the needs I had. Uh, so I sold my Pentax. Uh, I gave it a great new home and I'm just going to focus on like 35 millimeter film. Still have my Canon A1, still have the Nikon point and shoot. Love those cameras, not getting rid of them. But I've embraced digital again. I've started shooting digital again. And I recently just bought two cameras that I've been shooting a lot with. I mean, I have my, my Canon camera that I use mostly for work, but I, I am going on a trip to Paris and London, which I will be shooting film on. But I also brought an, bought another camera that I'm super excited about. I'm actually recording on it right now. Is I used to have the Fuji X100V, but I recently, very recently, updated to the Fuji X-T4. It's a lens changeable uh, mirrorless camera and I love the thing. Uh, I'm so excited to have it. Uh, I love the recipes I can make with it for different film stocks and I just love the color profiles that they have on there. Right now I'm shooting this in classic negative because I don't know, why not? Uh, but the other camera I bought was this guy. This is a little Nikon Coolpix point and shoot camera from like 2008. And if anyone remembers, I remember having one of these. This is like our first like camera before iPhone cameras got really good. Uh, I took it to so many parties, so many shows and just had a blast with it. And what I've been doing with this is been just kind of like taking with me everywhere I go. So on my walk to work, through the city and everything like that. And I've just been shooting a ton with it. And the results you get with it are great because it has this like nostalgic film look, but on a 10 megapixel camera. So I'm gonna share a bunch of my favorite photos that I took with it right now. And uh, I think you're gonna see that it's a great purchase for 20 bucks. It takes two AA batteries, a regular SD card, and it's got great results. Those are the photos I took with that camera. Uh, I, I'm still blown away by how awesome they look and how like they give like kind of like a vintagey, retro-y, throwback feel, and I, I really enjoy it. Um, but the second thing I wanted to talk about is I'm gonna be starting to change my channel up a bit. So I'm gonna still be doing YouTube videos about photography, film photography, digital photography. But I, I want to make them a little bit more cinematic. I have a very good friend that's moving here from Arizona who's a director and a writer, and we're going to be working together on YouTube videos for me. I want to make them a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more movie-like, interesting, and fun. I'm still going to have these talking heads and still going to talk in them, but I just want to bring up the value and the production level on the videos a little and just see what we can do and, and use it as a basis for us because we want to start making films down the road. And one of the first things I want to do, one of the first serious series I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna make videos going over every single Fuji X Weekly recipe that is on their app. There is a beautiful app for Fuji users that lets you mimic the looks and tones of film on a digital Fuji camera just by making what's known as recipes. So I have subscribed to the Fuji X Weekly Patreon and I now have access to all of their film simulations. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple of photos I took with their Portra 160 film stock. Uh, some of with a model um, and then some just me at the beach. And I just want you to look at them. Like these were shot on a digital camera, Fuji, but with this Portra 160 recipe. So those those photos look I love them. The golden light, the warm colors and everything. And I know what you're saying. Well, you know, film is better. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, film is amazing. I love film. I love what I've done with it and what I've gotten from it. This right here, this shot of the Epcot ball was shot with Lomo 400. And I absolutely love this photo. But then I love this photo of my old Mini Cooper car that was shot on film. I'm sorry, not shot on film, shot on a Fuji camera. So I think there's room for it in people's workflows on both sides, digital and film. And I'm going to still continue shooting film, but I'm going to do a lot more digital because of the ease of use, the, the, the cost effectiveness, and, and just, you know, what I can get out of these cameras. So there's a big, great Fuji film community out there, and I'm super excited to make these videos. So th that's really it, uh, you know, and the other reason I've been gone is I had some family stuff come up that I had to take care of. It was super important to me. Um, and you know, I've been working with that and, and dealing with that and uh, everything's okay so far and hopefully it will stay that way. But that was more important than making YouTube videos, but you know, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm actually gonna be coming back stronger. I'm going to Paris and London for two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna be taking this Fuji camera and my Canon AE one or my Nikon film camera and I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do film and digital. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to always just shoot and I will see you in the next one and many, many, many more. Later. <laughs>